Good day everyone. Welcome to Esma Joseph Cedita's Avery's and the youngsters are now out of the nest. They flew out the nest and I just wanted to let you all see what they look like. So we have we have one here. See that's a very beautiful sight and then this is the other one here. Nice, healthy youngsters. See that? And the other one by the father. Look here. Go down to the other side. Right. Nice, healthy youngsters. So the parents still feeding them. Um, they will usually feed them um, a month, sometimes a little more than a month. I'll say up to six weeks. Uh, they will start eating for themselves. Like when they reach like a month old, they will start rolling the seed, trying to crack it. And by six weeks, the beak should be strong enough to actually crack the seeds and eat for themselves and then what I will usually do is separate them and monitor them when I separate them just to see if they are eating for themselves and etc etc and um, once once they are eating for themselves I would leave them um, to get accustomed and um, but you must monitor them because if <laughs> if they're not um, cracking the seed and eating for themselves, they'll be starving. So you don't want that to happen. So you have to monitor them for the first couple of days, make sure they're eating well. They might have to put them back with the parents um, in between if they're still having problems cracking the seeds and whatnot. Try to serve them soft seeds, string millet, um, rubbing grass seeds, um, all the soft seeds, panicum seeds, they will eat that as well. And... Um, as they be get stronger and stronger, they'll be able to crack the other harder seeds. Alright. Like the hemp seeds and etc. Alright. Um, the Japanese millet is also a soft seed that they should be easy for them to crack as well. So, yes. So that's my little update for today. Uh, and thanks for watching. Um, remember to like, subscribe and share and hit the notification bell for more updates. Have a blessed day.